All right, gang, here we go. Uh, lesson number two, using Flipanim uh, to create an animation, a GIF animation of your name kind of being written out in thin air. So frame by frame animation, something sort of similar kind of to a spinoff that we do in, uh, in our computer animation class in school. I'm gonna go back to my Flipanim workspace here and get started. So we are going to go beta again and so what we want to start with here is and you can give your paper a background don't know if you guys noticed that in the last time that you have this kind of like uh, graph paper sort of grid going on here which is kind of cool with the stick figure but maybe you want a background color this time so maybe I'll do like a background color of blue and so fill bucket is this guy I can just click anywhere in here and that's the color of my paper now and so then if I put a layer on top of that and we will get into using multiple layers for some stuff. Um, you can do your name part on top of that. So for my pencil tool, I'm gonna use this again, pencil tool, then I'm gonna take the um, pencil and make the size just a little bit bigger. Let's test out my color, make sure that it works here. That works pretty good. Control Z will undo. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, make the second. Yeah, that's kind of the width I wanted. So. We're just gonna draw this like a little bit by little bit and then create a new frame as we go. So scrolling up here, we're just using this new frame um, rip, uh, or duplicate frame button. So draw in a little bit, duplicate frame button. Kind of start from where you were, draw a little bit further, duplicate frame button. 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 So, draw a little bit further, duplicate frame button. You probably get the pattern by now. But, I'm gonna go ahead and cruise through mine. So, you could do your first initial, you could do your two initials, you could do your first name, you could do all three initials, you could do a nickname, a-okay with that but just you're drawing a little bit of a line and then basically just extending it up, right? And so there I have one letter. And so you can kind of probably guess where this is gonna go, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep cruising along. So adding another new frame, remember you can grab this blue bar, scroll down to your new frame at the end there. I'm gonna start the letter I, so I'm gonna just kind of go up, add a new frame and keep going up add a new frame, do kind of like half of the top of the eye, come back around, all right, new frame here is going to be start of the P, pull it down, then start the top part, and keep going around every time until we get back to the beginning there. And maybe I'll do like one other little line just because I want to get fancy with making some extra details in here or something. I don't know. You know, so let's see how that plays out. Awesome. So there's my little uh, my little gif of my name being written. Um, again, with everything, you guys can always add your own little small touches to this if you want to keep going. Uh, if not, just remember to make sure you save, give this a title. Um, you could call it my name is. And if you want to make it public, you can make it public. If you don't want to make it public, you don't have to make it public. Click upload. Say you're not a robot, unless you are a bot. But then it won't let you save it, so unfortunate side effect. Waiting till it's done editing. Well, I am done editing. It's doing uploading. There we go. All set. Cool. And there we go. And then remember, you click this GIF link, 
here and then you can right click or you can hold alt and click or you can hold control and click and you want to go to save this image to your Google Drive. Save it in your Google Drive. That way you can turn it in on Google Classroom. Awesome. Hope you guys have fun and do all right with this second uh, distance learning animation assignment using Flippin'